Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk about what a software engineer is and what I do as a software engineer day to day. So if we search up software engineer on Google, we get something like a software engineer is a person who applies the principles of software engineering to the design, development, maintenance, testing, and evaluation of computer software. And what does that really mean? Simply said, it just means a person that creates software. The one big issue with that definition though is that there's a lot of different types of software. Software can go from something like an app on your phone or the functionality inside your printer that lets you make photocopies, really anything in between. So when we talk about what a software engineer is, it's important to know that there are a lot of different types of software engineers that are responsible for building these different types of software. Because within each discipline of software engineering, there's so much to learn as it is that you couldn't really have one person be capable of building all of these different types of software and be good at it. Software engineers that come to mind right away are embedded software engineers and web developers. Embedded software engineers are software engineers that build software for low level systems. Something like a router. You can think of your computer parts as well. Each of the computer parts needs to integrate together to form a system. Each of these computer parts needs to have their own software that allows them to interact with these other pieces of hardware. The second type of software engineer is the web developer. Web development is the field that I'm in and it's the field that I have more insight into. So even if you look at web developers, it's important to understand there are different types of web developers. So again, different types of software engineers within this discipline of software engineering. There are essentially three types of software engineers within web development. You have the front end developer, which is responsible for developing user facing applications. So when you go to google.com, for example, and you see a page, somebody had to design and develop that page. Somebody had to design and develop that button, decide how that button is going to look. When you actually type something, you get predicted results. So you type AR and you get Argentina. Somebody had to design how that is going to work. Basically all of the logic that works on the actual page and all of the design elements of the page. That's what a front end developer does. On the other side of the web development spectrum, you have the back end engineer. I myself am a back end engineer. And what a back end engineer does is really not limited to the user interface or even the application. So we might build software that you don't even see as the user. For example, if you take Google into account, there's probably a lot of background processes that run to actually find which websites should come up for which searches, even before you search them. The third type of software engineer in web development is the full stack developer. As the name implies, they're essentially both front end and back end engineers. When a company is tackling more complex problems, you typically tend to see a split between front end and back end developers because you need to have people that actually specialize and are exceptionally good on one side of that spectrum. There's one more type of software engineer that slipped my mind and those are game developers, the people that make those games we all know and love. Depending on the type of software engineer that maybe you decide to become, it's going to determine on what type of work you do, what type of technologies you work with, what type of programming languages you work with. And really, I wanna stress that these really are very different jobs. So there are two more roles I would like to highlight whose responsibilities are very similar to that of software engineers and their work intersects with software engineers within web development um, quite a bit. The first one is the test automation engineer. This is something that I did for a while myself and it's essentially a QA analyst or a software tester which aims to automate the software testing process. The way they do this is they essentially have to write software which tests the software of front-end and back-end engineers. While technically they are software testers, what they're really doing for a lot of their day is they're building software that automatically tests your software. So the key word is that they're building software. The second job, which while isn't super similar to software engineering, the work really intersects a lot. And this is what's called a DevOps engineer. DevOps standing for developer operations. If you are considering a career within software engineering, I strongly encourage that you look at these different types of software engineering roles and you look at the work they do and you decide what type of work you want to do and what type of work interests you the most. If you like games, if you like websites, that's going to really drive what you should learn and which track you should take. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon.